Aloha nui kako, Joe Souza here actually standing in our assembly department. You know, as a young builder first learning the art of luthery, it was really scary to bend wood. You know, if you ask a woodworker, now you got to go bend curly koa, it'd be like, ah! In fact, I used to get burned, the wood would crack, we'd get inconsistent results. It was scary. Well, here we are as a modern day builder, and how we do and what we do has improved tremendously. So we'll learn about how it was. We'll learn about what we do today. In fact, we're gonna learn a lot here on the... So when I first started building ukulele and really learning this art, we literally bent the wood for the ukulele on a metal pipe that was heated up by a propane torch. And we'd go through this time-honored method of air drying the wood for the tone, and then bring the wood into the shop, soak it, get it all wet, so that we could do this dance between heat and steam and really wrestle with the wood to get the wood to bend. Inevitably, this figured core, some of the most prized tone wood in the world, would crack because the water would weaken the fibers of the wood in turn making the wood crack. So we evolved from there and literally onto a upside down teardrop that was heated up by a light bulb. So in this way we could control the heat source a little better, but even in that we would have to soak the wood and pray, cross our fingers, cross our toes, that the wood would bend. Eventually that evolved into a jig that literally resembled the shape of an ukulele but we still use light bulbs as our heat source. And it would take 30 minutes, 40 minutes with three 100 watt light bulbs to heat up the jig to allow us to bend the wood. Eventually we started to use a silicone heating blanket or kind of a rubberized heating blanket that could conform to the lower bout, the waist, the upper bout, and all of these fine curves that we're asking the wood to bend into to create that traditional figure eight ukulele shape. With that, we still had to use water. Well, here we are today as a modern day ukulele builder. And how do we integrate technology into a way of how we build our ukuleles? So in this case, at our side benders, we're able to really employ controlled heat, also pneumatic tensioners that are tied in with spring stainless steel that help us to really get the wood to bend. So at stage one, we're gonna bend the waist, which is really the tightest radius on the ukulele to bend. And we're gonna bend that waist from the outside in. So we'll set the work pieces in, we'll of course allow it to come up to temperature, and then using these pneumatic tensioners that literally put over 250 pounds per square inch onto that spring stainless, in this case, stage one, two pneumatic tensioners, putting 500 pounds of tension and getting that wood to bend. Then after it releases from stage one, we'll step into stage two, where we're getting ready to bend the upper and the lower bout. In this case, we have four pneumatic tensioners, literally adding over a thousand pounds of tension onto the coal wood to then get the wood to bend into that traditional figure eight classic ukulele shape. In fact, we're able to do a little bit of an overbend on the wood, which in turn allows us to get the wood to rest and eventually want to go back flat where it fits tightly into our jigs. This has helped us tremendously on accuracy, on tone, because now we do everything in our bending with no water. Boom, game changer. This allows us to really capture the essence and the tone of the wood without soaking the wood and allowing the wood to really have its true voice. So by doing all of these steps as a modern day builder, it sure allowed us to achieve an accuracy that basically was unattainable to us. So apparently there's this challenge going on between my loving youngest son, Kahiao, and his videos and how they're tied into how everyone loves and likes our videos. In reality, we really appreciate you coming and spending time with us or allowing us into your 
telephone, into your iPad, onto your computer, and sharing about what we do and who we are as a modern day ukulele builder. Really the essence of why we're putting these videos here is to educate, to give you insight, and really show how approachable we are as a modern day ukulele builder. So if you like what you see, in fact, if you love it, go ahead, smash that like button. In fact, we're shooting for 250 likes. We can do this, baby. If you love our videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And then the algorithms will pick up how people love our and like our videos to then share our videos even further with more and more people to really showcase how today a modern day ukulele builder here in the middle of the Pacific is building these world-class playable masterpieces. So thank you again for enjoying our videos and coming and spending time with us. We look forward to seeing you. Everybody take care, stay safe, keep strumming, and aloha.